Hey everybody, welcome and thank you for joining me and the Sidekicks for another video. Both Sidekicks are here, it is super muggy outside, but I so enjoy being outside because my time is limited. Um, being in Pennsylvania, you never know when the cold weather is going to hit. So, or the wet, or the rain. But Zena's here, you want to say hi? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see her, there she is. I'm Wyatt, Wyatt, you want to come say hi to everybody real quick? Before we get into our unboxing today, I have a fun unboxing for you. It is an Amazon Prime wardrobe style unboxing, which means these are stylist picks, not my picks. And everything came in pieces. I got four different boxes, two that look like this. So we'll have fun getting into these boxes. And then I got a mishmash of two other boxes. But your stylist picks items for you. And then you shop her picks and you get eight items sent to you. If you don't like those picks, you can always ask for more. You do fill out a short profile. Um, and like I said, you do get a stylist. And then you don't have to try to navigate the whole Amazon site of all of the clothing to try to determine what is part of Amazon Prime wardrobe and what isn't because you can quite easily get lost and it can take days to try to get a um, Amazon Prime wardrobe together. At least for me it did. So it started getting tape being so time consuming that I switched over to the Amazon Prime wardrobe style option and let my stylist do the work for me and it is so much better. There is no styling fee. It's all part of the Amazon Prime um, uh, offering. So it works out great. Wyatt has decided to go to sleep on the floor here, so I'm sure you'll see him at some point. So let's dig into my boxes. Oh, first box. And they're taped, set, taped shut here. Usually you just have to rip because everything goes right back into these boxes that you don't want. And um, has this tape, you just tape them right back shut. They give you labels and it's easy to send right back via UPS. So here is the inside of my first box. Everything does come in plastic. Let me get them out, for, get my stuff out for you. First box, <clears throat> you do get a little envelope, little pamphlet inside here tells you exactly what to do once you get your box. You do get a return label that you put right back on the box and you do get a little pricing sheet that tells you how much everything was. All right, so I'm gonna pause, get everything out of the plastic and be right back. All right, I got everything out of the packaging, so let's do it. First item is by Ellen Tracy, it is a top and this is a navy background with these pretty purple and gray print, floral print. It is a, a um, overlay. So this is a sheer lining over top of a solid navy, black, navy um, lining. It has, does have the draw, it does have the ties having a hard time talking all of a sudden. So that's pretty. That's first. Next is a pair of shorts by Not Your Daughter's Jeans in this pretty blue color. I just got a pair of pants in my Nordstrom anniversary sale in this color. So this is the shorts version. So I like this. Now, I did size down in those to a zero. These are a two. So we'll see. Hopefully these fit. Next up is by Democracy in an extra small. So this is a top. Looks very wrinkled. And I see it is unbuttoned. My sniffles are coming back for some reason. button this real quick so we can see what it looks like. It is a cotton so it is a bit wrinkled. So this is the print. It has this uh, lace at the bottom and not going down the front. So that's pretty. Might have a wrinkle factor to it though. 
let go with these. Not bad. Next up is another pair of shorts by Tribal Jeans. I like the length of those. Both of these have nice length. So those are cute. And next is a top by Nick and Zoe. So it has the notched front, a little bit of a flutter around the neckline, and a little bit of a flowy look there. I like the little bit of green called out throughout that top. That's pretty. Now I think I have a dress from Taylor. Look at the pretty colors in this. That is pretty. Zipper down the back, you can see, and it has the flounce bottom. That's pretty. And last clothing item is another pair of shorts by William Rast, also in a longer length, in a white. I like those. I don't have any William Rast jean shorts, so I'm interested in those. And then I have a pair of shoes by Yager The Label. I love the heel on these, and I love the neutral color. So these are very nice. That's all the items. So we will go over pricing at the end, and let's get to the try-on. First outfit is the William Rast white jean shorts and this top by Ellen Tracy. So here is a close-up look of the, well, the whole outfit, basically, the two items. And then I just put on the flats, flat sandals. So while the, I think the outfit is cute and not bad at all, this top is too big on me. So the armholes are too big and I've got a lot of extra fabric. And I think that it is a little bit too much for me. So I'm not really loving the fit. Although I don't mind the pattern and the style, I think it's a little bit too much for me. And then the shorts, I like. So these fit pretty well. They have some nice stretch. They, I love the length of them. I just wanna wear them around for a little bit to see they're a little bit tighter around the bottom of my leg and I just want to see if that makes means that they're going to ride up as I move around. That's my only concern about them. Otherwise I like them because they have some great stretch and I love the length and I think they're um, would be a great addition to my wardrobe because of the length of them. I don't have a lot of white shorts. I kept a pair from mix and match that are Liverpool but they're a little bit shorter so I kind of like these. All right let's do another outfit. Next outfit, I have on this cotton top with the pretty uh, lace detail on it and the little flutter bottom has the side notch cut out. And I paired it with the Not Your Daughter's Jeans shorts. And I also put on the sandals. And this top, just trying to keep this collar in check, I think is going to be a problem. So it is going to need constant ironing, steaming, whatever. Um, otherwise, I think the top is very pretty, but it's, I think, going to require more effort than I want to give to it. But aside from that, I think it's very cute. I like the, the detail of the, the lace here. And I like the colors on it. The colors are awesome. It really stands out nicely. What do you guys think of these Not Your Daughter's Jean Shorts? So they fit pretty well, actually. I probably could go down a size if I wanted to. Um, they are long, so I actually had to cuff them again. So they're like pedal pusher lengths here. But the color is very pretty. And I think they're... I think they're nice. I can't decide if I like how long they are. That's my one hang up. So let me know what you think. And I like the sandals. So they have a very square heel. Um, like it is completely square. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. And then they have the little toe hole. 
So I'm liking them. All right, next outfit. The dress is up next. Has this very pretty print to it and this flouncy bottom, both of which I really like. Has the V-neck. So if I stand still, I think it's awesome. The back is my problem area again. So it tends to, it's doing this puckering thing that I have problems with with some of these dresses when they tend to fit like this. I think it's very pretty. I wish it fit. I'm not sure how much it is, but I think I'm gonna have some puckering problems in the back where it wants to gather. It's doing a little bit here on the side as well. So I might be messing with it a lot. Can't tell. It's a pretty dress though. It's like the perfect summer dress. This would be great for weddings. I love the pretty colors in it. All right, I have one more outfit. Okay, and the last outfit is the Nick and Zoe top with the tribal shorts. I put the shoes back on, the sandals, and I like this top. It's got these cute little arrows on it, but I love the little call-outs in the green, and then it has this nice denim blue color and even some tan. It's a nice mix of colors. Now, Nick and Zoe tends to be expensive, so I'll be curious to see how much it is. It's a little bit longer in the back, I think, but it's a nice length. You could always do a front tuck. It has this notched front. You could hook it if you wanted to. I wouldn't do that because of my whole not looking anything too close to my neck issues. And I think it's a nice flowy top. It'd be great for casual or for um, dressy. Be just as cute with a skirt or dress pants as it is with these jean shorts. So I'm liking it. Here's a little bit closer look so you can see that pattern. It's cute. And then the jean shorts I like as well. These are by Tribal. Love the length. They're not tight around my leg. They have a nice fit to them. They're not too tight. And there's a little bit of distressing but no holes. Nice. So overall I like these. Good outfit. So this is my last outfit. Let's talk pricing. Oh, guys, I'm hot. It's like muggy, muggy out here. I'm not complaining now. I'm a summer girl. So let's talk pricing. Okay. Wyatt's joining us. He's hot. Here. Can you say hi, Wyatt? There he is. He's watching bugs. Okay. We'll focus on the task at hand here. So first item, the Yager Women's Combert Strappy Low Heel Slide Sandal Shoe Heeled in Clay. And these are 124.61. That's this. So I mean like the shoe, the, the heel is completely squared. Isn't that cool? So I really liked these. I just have to think if I want to spend that much for them. Sometimes I will check again because Amazon prices change daily. So um, I probably won't even put pricing down for you guys because you should go out and check for yourself because I have, um, before I check out and buy any of these items, I go check them again and sometimes they're much cheaper, sometimes they're more, so I'll stick with my price, but I always check. So right now, for if I were to check out, this would be $124.61, but I like these. I'm inclined that I want to keep them. So... Um, I might still stock them though and see if they get cheaper. I'll think about it because I do like them. Next up, the Ellen Tracy Women's Sheared Neck Sleeveless Top. That top, and that's the one I felt was too big for me, and you guys are going to not believe the price of this. This was only $14.40. And this is an extra small. So I don't even think I can get a smaller size because I think this is a cute top. $14.40. Darn it. I'm going to have to try it on again <laughs> for $14. Zena's is trying to get to the other side of the... Where are you going, baby girl? 
Oh, these dogs. My sidekicks are acting up today. You guys aren't going to get paid. Hmm, $14.40. That's a great price for that. Okay, next up. The William Rast Women's Bermuda Roll Cuff Denim Short. So these were $34.75. Not a bad price. I'm leaning towards keeping these. I'm going to wear them for a little bit and make sure that this rolled cuff isn't too tight around my leg. But I liked these. I just went through all my shorts and I my uh, current white shorts that are longer are older and I'm not really liking the fits not quite right. So I might be keeping those. Next, the Taylor Dress Women's Sleeveless V-neck Tropical Print Flounce. That's this dress. It's $39.99. So aside from the shoes so far, the prices in this are not bad. I thought this dress was very pretty. It didn't seem to fit me quite right. Maybe it's my, maybe I have too much junk in the trunk that it's not laying right, but I thought this was really pretty. I just don't think it fits me quite right. The Democracy Women's Button-Up Collared Sleeveless Tank. That was this one. This was only, get this, $10.80. But I feel like I would have more time and energy in ironing this and keeping it looking nice, and then as soon as I would leave, it would wrinkle again, that this is a no for me. Next, the Tribal Women's Distressed Short with Roll Cuff in Blue Glow. That's these, $43.01. What do you think of these? Are these too long? I kind of, I love the color of these. I'm just worried they're too long on me because I'm already, I, I'm not that tall. I'm five foot five. Um, so let me know what you think. Were these cute or did they seem too long on me? So these are maybe right now. And then the Nick and Zoe, is it Nick and Zoe? I always want to say Zoe for, after Rachel Zoe. The Nick and Zoe women's what does this say? Women's coming and going tank, forty-four thirty-one. So I expected it to be more. I just look at the price on here. It says one hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Can you guys see that? So the price on here is one hundred and twenty-eight. My price is forty-four thirty-one. I'm inclined to want to keep this. Did you guys like this on? I liked this. So I'm thinking this is a yes. And then the not your daughter's jeans, women braille roll cuff jean short. Oh, I did the opposite. I'm sorry. So the Tribal Women's Jeans was this one, 4301, which I like these, and I'm inclined to want to keep these. The Not Your Daughter's Jeans was this one, and these were 4413 in Blue Glow. Those are both called Blue Glow for some reason. That's what threw me off. These are 4413, so basically very close in price. So let me know what you guys thought of these. But I'm inclined, I, I'm definitely thinking of keeping these. And I want to know what you guys think of these as far as the length. And that's everything. That was all eight items. So I thought this was fun. My stylist did pretty good. I did give her instructions on what I was looking for. And um, aside from no one seems to be able to find me any really cute summer casual dresses. That's the part I think that she obviously uh, struggled with. I think she did a great job. So I will list all these items down below in case you want to check them out on Amazon for yourself. Um, and thank you so much for spending some time with us. I would love it if you would click that like button. I would love it if you would hang out with us for the long haul and hit that subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, everyone. Have an awesome day. Bye.